Welcome back to another RC Worst video. Here we are continuing our how to troubleshoot a jet pump series. Today we're talking specifically about noise within the pump. Oftentimes been told it sounds like gravel in the pump or something noisy, uh, a noise that it's never made before or it's vibrating like crazy. So uh, there's tons of different conditions and tons of different reasons that that could happen. Uh, probably the first place to start is to make sure that we're actually getting enough water into the pump. So if you're experiencing a lot of noise with your pump, only at certain times, let's say after prolonged run periods or after irrigation cycles, uh, things of that nature, that may be an indication that the water level in the well is starting to drop too low and we may potentially be sucking some air into the pump. So a situation where your suction line or suction pipe is restricted, whether it be out of water or potentially that foot valve uh, has become covered in mud. Maybe your, uh, your well is kind of sloughed off a bit and it's covered that foot valve in mud and it's restricting the flow getting into the pump. That can cause a lot of noise inside the pump. So the best thing to do is probably pull that drop pipe up out of the well and one, inspect the foot valve, make sure that it's functioning properly. It's worth taking completely off and sticking your finger uh, in and testing the spring, as well as making sure it's clean and free. And while you're pulling that drop pipe out of the well, take note of what the water level is. And ideally, you wanna be doing this after you've experienced that vibration situation, if it is an intermittent uh, vibration that you're getting due to those longer, long, longer run times. So, I got a foot valve. Um, this is what it's gonna look like and you wanna make sure that it works properly. To inspect this foot valve, I would take these two screws off and completely remove the screen and everything and assure myself that the uh, foot valve is sealing properly. Um, in addition to that, it could always be a sign of wear. Uh, if you've got a lot of sediment or uh, potentially sand that goes through your pump or through your system, uh, that could actually wear some of the components such as your impeller. Uh, the pump that we're talking about today here has a bronze impeller. That might be a good upgrade or investment if you have an impeller that fails on you. Um, Oftentimes a lot of abrasives are also going to eat away at your seal, but you're going to experience leakages around the body of the pump and that's going to be a clear indication of seal failure. Uh, whereas noise within the pump can really mean a variety of things. Um, so it could also be that there's something that's been lodged or gotten wedged inside the pump uh, or a buildup of sediment material and um, you want to, in those cases, probably take the casing apart and take a look at what the components look like inside, see if there's anything to be concerned about if you don't find anything in the drop pipe inspection and checking the water level in the well. In addition to that, uh, one thing to take note of is if you're experiencing this in a new installation, it's not a, a condition that has occurred over time, uh, it could be the case that your suction pipe is either too long or you're using too small of a suction pipe, so we're incurring too much friction loss before we get into the pump thus encountering that same type of cavitation that we would if we were drawing the water level at uh, too deep of a depth. So that's more or less the things that are gonna contribute to the gravel noise outside of bearing failure. Now, if you know what a bearing failure sounds like in a motor, it's a pretty unique or a distinct sound, uh, and it usually sounds like kind of a, a loud wind or a more consistent grinding noise. Uh, so if you're experiencing that, then time for a new motor. Otherwise, with the other situations, it could be a matter of just checking some pipe, moving a few things around, possibly replacing an impeller. Um, so not too terrible. All right, so that's pretty much the things that you're gonna wanna take a look for if you're experiencing that. Um, that's all we got for you in this video. If that didn't solve your problem, remember we are doing a series of troubleshooting your jet pump. So stay tuned, don't forget to like and subscribe. We will catch you next time.